I wish there were more botanical questions on university challenge. I wish, I wish, I wish. Ah, oh, wonderful, yes, at last. Botany in its rightful place in university challenge, but not this chairman. This one, Colin Club, Botanical University Challenge 2021. I can't wait. Where did it come from? I'm Dr. M, and with my colleague John Warren, back in 2016, we were pondering the demise of botany in the university sector and in fact in the education sector as a whole but rather than bemoaning this we were looking for ways to champion and to celebrate botany in britain and we came up with the idea of um, the extended botany pub quiz really um, why not put botany into university challenge and that really is how botanical university challenge was Born. And with Paul Ashton from, from Edge Hill, the first Botanical University Challenge took place in 2016 at Kew. There were five institutions competing, Aberyst with Edge Hill, Reading, Kew and Southampton. The contest in 2016 was held at, at Kew and chaired by James Wong and introduced by Colin Club. And the five teams competed. There was a nail-biting conclusion in which Reading was pitted against Southampton. In the end, Reading came through victorious uh, and carried the illustrious Hempleaf Trophy back to Reading. We were convinced then that Botanical University Challenge wasn't a flash in the pan and that this success needed to be repeated as soon as possible. In fact, it wasn't until 2019 that the second Botanical University Challenge took place, this time in Reading as part of the anniversary celebrations, 50 years of, of Botany Masters training at Reading. There were six institutions competing, Southampton, Reading, Kew, Edge Hill, Liverpool and Manchester Met. And the proceedings were overseen with great humour and erudition by Chris Preston. Once again, it was a very exciting, uh, closely matched contest. In the end, it was Liverpool and Reading in the final, and this went to a really exciting sudden death playoff. Two questions into the sudden death playoff, it was Reading that took the trophy. On this occasion, the trophies were lovingly handcrafted by Alastair Cullum from the Reading Herbarium and created from dried pitcher plants. There were two trophies, a winner's trophy and a runners-up trophy, and this continued the botanical theme to the challenge trophies. The following year, Botanical University Challenge 3 was hosted in the lovely Ness Botanic Garden, organized by Muriel Jones, and no fewer than seven institutions competed. Manchester Met, University of Reading, Manchester, Liverpool, Lancaster, Edgehill, and York. The proceedings were overseen by our chairman, Professor Alan McCarthy, and again an exciting and hard fought contest, this time for two beautiful trophies, flower sculptures, sea holly and ladies smock. Why these two flowers? They are the local county flowers for Liverpool and for Cheshire. The final was a repeat of the previous year's Reading Liverpool match. Um, and again, Reading took the winner's trophy, Liverpool, the well-deserved runners-up. So now our attention is focused to 2021. Botanical University Challenge in a time of COVID. What can we expect? As in previous years, rounds are going to include UK and world flora and ecology, botanical terminology, food plants, plants in word cultures, and will include picture rounds, always popular, and new for 2021, there will be botanical games and charades. So lots of fun and botanical games to look forward to. So here's an example of picture round. You have to identify the plant that looks like something else. So each round starts with a starter for 10 and there's no conferring. 
of course, this is the man orchid, Acerus anthropophorum. So the team that gets that question on the buzzer or whatever we will be using in 2021 moves on and gets three bonus questions. So identify the plant that looks like something else. Bonus for five. What is this scary Halloween themed botanical structure? It is, of course, a snapdragon seed capsule and tyrannum. Okay, second bonus. What is this weird and wonderful looking thing? The flying duck orchid, Caliana Major. And the final bonus question What is this plant that looks like something else? This is the green flower bird, Crotillaria cunninghamii. So there you go, that's one round. So the team accrues the, the marks for the starter and three bonus questions, and we move on to the next round. And so on, through the teams, through the rounds, to the final. So Botanical University Challenge 2021, what will it look like? Will it look like this? Not a bit of it. It's not going to be anything like this. So we think it's going to be more like this. Colin Club from Q will be in the chair. We think there'll be about a dozen teams competing for arguably the first Zoom university level botanical contest anywhere in the world, unless, of course, you know better. The event will be live streamed on the BSBI YouTube channel, so it'll be available to a much larger and wider audience, uh, providing us with great potential to advertise both the BSBI and to celebrate young botanical talent and botany itself in Britain uh, and beyond. We expect an audience in the United States uh, who have already expressed an interest in running a Botanical University Challenge event of their own. So the audience will be able to observe the questions on their device, see the chairman, keep tally of the score uh, and the two teams. And this will all be overseen by the BSBI technical expertise uh, that's currently at work producing the annual exhibition meeting. So it's gonna be doubly exciting to see how this goes and to be able to welcome in a large virtual audience and for sure, a record number of teams. This begs the question, what will the 2021 Botanical University Challenge trophies be? And here's Alastair Cullum with his secret pitcher plant trophies from the 2019 contest. We can expect to continue the botanical theme, but also to continue the imaginative and original approach to celebrating the winners of this unique contest. You can see from left to right here, Linnaeus is overseeing our lovely hemp leaf trophy from 2016, the pitcher plant trophy from 2019, and here are the two beautiful winners and runners up botanical sculptures from 2020. So what will 2021 bring? We're sure BSBI has something very lovely wrapped up for us, and we look forward to seeing that in February 2021. But it's not the winning, it's the taking part. And we do encourage all botanists to get involved. It's fun and it promotes botany, it promotes BSBI, it promotes university level botanical expertise and teaching. So this is a lovely view of the winning team from Reading with Meryl Jones in Liverpool, what seems an age ago, a pre-COVID Botanical University challenge, if ever there was one. So please get involved. It's fun. You can find more information on the BSBI website where we have a Botanical University challenge pages. We've also got posters, which we prepared for the annual exhibition meeting. These give you all the information you need and the contact details. If you want to enter a team for Botanical University Challenge 2021, if you would like to offer some questions for the competition or just for more information, please contact myself, Dr. M, otherwise known as J. 
Jonathan Mitchley at Reading or John Warren at Hotmail. And as in previous years, we expect to promote Botanical University Challenge 2021 through the BSBI, through Twitter, using the SBI Botany, Dr. M Goes Wild, John Warren, Reading Botany, and the hashtag BUC2021. See you on the 17th of February 2021, and do get in touch to get involved. Thanks for listening.